What's up y'all? So for anybody in or interested in getting entered in this multi-species madness fishing league that I'm hosting, um, if you are curious on how to properly measure the fish, I'm going to show you a perfect example that one of the uh, participants sent to me um, on, how to, on how to measure it and I'll give you some tips on how to do that and everything like that. So check this video out, this will be informative on that and uh, if you have any questions let me know for sure. So thanks for watching and hopefully this helps with that. Okay, so here's a pretty good example of how to properly measure your fish for this league. I would r highly recommend starting the mouth right there on zero unless there's some reason you can't. And then you're going to have the fish. You're not going to stretch the fish out or squash it. Just kind of have it laying there. You can pinch the tail um, together. That's fine. Or just have it kind of laying like that. Uh, but basically, you know, on a bump board or on a ruler like that. And that's a fish that I would mark at, it looks like about nine and a half inches um if the fish if the picture is too blurry too far away uh, i won't be able to count it if it doesn't include the code i won't be able to count it and that's a pretty good way to do the code right there in big bold lettering um if you don't have a printer obviously you can just write it as well but if you have any questions let me know obviously if there's some reason you can't start the fish's face at zero i'm just going to do the math um of how long the fish is but the picture has to be clear um, has to include the length if you want the length to count and has to include the code if you want it to count at all and it has to be that week's code obviously any questions let me know um, but that's that's a pretty good example of how to do it so hopefully that clears uh, up any questions anyone has <music> Show you a perfect example that one of the trout stop. I'm gonna show you a perfect example.